This video will show you how to make a crushing object simulation in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. When you open Blender, first press tab to go to the edit mode. Right click then go to merge vertices and select its center. Click on this X to go to a side view and press G then Z then minus 1 to move it down by 1. Now press E then Y then 0.7 to extrude it this side by 0.7. Press E then Z then 1.5 to extrude it up by 1.5. Press E again and extrude this vertex up to somewhere here. Press E then Z then 1 to move it up along the Z by 1. Press E then Z then 0.05 to extrude it up by 0.05. Press Shift or 7 times to repeat the action 7 times. Select this vertex then press and hold Shift then select these ones as well. Press G then Y and move them somewhere here along the Y. Select this top vertex then press E then Z then 0.05 to move it up by 0.05 along the Z. Now come to the modifier properties and click on add modifier then go to generate and add a screw modifier. Come down to this edge then press ctrl r to add another vertex to it. Press g then y and move it up to somewhere here. Now select this vertex then click on this icon to switch to the wire frame mode. Press g then z then 0.1 to move it up by 0.1. Now click on this icon to switch it back to the solid view. Come back to the modifier properties and increase these viewport steps to 32. Press tab to go back to the object mode then go to object and click on shade auto smooth to shade it auto smooth. Now press tab to go back to the edit mode. Select this vertex then press and hold shift then select the following vertices. Press ctrl shift b to bevel them up to this level. Come down here and click on this drop-down arrow to expand on this settings panel. Increase these segments to 2. Select this vertex as well then press Ctrl Shift B to bevel it up to this level. Now press Tab to go to the object mode. Come to the modifier properties then click on this drop-down arrow on the screw modifier and select apply to apply it. Press Tab to go back to the edit mode. Come up here and click on this icon to turn on X-ray visibility. Come down to the bottom of the model and select all these vertices. Press M then select its center to merge them at center. Now if you select it you can see that it's one vertex. Press A to select all then go to mesh then normals and select recalculate normals outside. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Come to the modifier properties then click on add modifier then go to generate and add a subdivision surface modifier. Press tab to go to the edit mode then click on this X to go to the side view. Press ctrl or then click and move this edge loop up to somewhere here. Come to these faces as well and press ctrl or then click and move this edge loop up to somewhere here. Press ctrl or again then click and move this edge loop up to somewhere here. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Come back to the modifier properties and click on this drop down arrow on the subdivision surface modifier then click on apply to apply it. Now click on this X to go to the side view then press shift to then go to mesh and add a plane. Press G then Z then minus 1 to move it down by 1. Press S then 3 to scale it up by 3. Press shift D then Z then 4 to move it up by 4. Now press tab to go to the edit mode. Press S then 0.5 to scale it down by 0.5. Press E and extrude it up to somewhere here. Now press tab to go to the object mode. Select this bottle then come to the physics properties and click on soft body to add a soft body physics to it. Now if you play it you can see it wiggling in the air. To fix that, Come back to the soft body settings and deactivate goal. So if you play it now you can see it falling down. Select this plane then come back to the physics properties and add a collision physics to it. Now if you play it, you can see it crambling down onto the plane. So go back to the first frame then select this bottle and come back to the physics properties and click on this drop down arrow on edges. 
Scroll down to damp and increase it to about 11.5. Now if you play it you can see that nothing has changed yet. So come back to the physics properties and increase this plasticity to about 54. Click here on bending and increase it to about 7.8 as well. Now if you play it, you can see it becoming stiffer but it is still crumbling. So go back to the soft body settings and increase this bending to 10. Click on this plasticity and increase it to 100. Now if you play it you can see that it is becoming stiffer but we need to give it more geometry to work with. So press tab to go to the edit mode. Click on this Y to go to the side view then come to these faces and press Ctrl or then 8 then click and right click to add 8 edge loops. Come to these faces as well and press Ctrl or then 8 then click and right click to add 8 edge loops. Do the same for these other faces as well making sure that the geometry is evened out nicely. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Now if you play it you can see that it has got more geometry. So go back to the soft body settings then click on this drop down arrow on object and reduce on this mass to 0.1. Scroll down to collision and activate this edge and face. Click on this box to activate stiffness as well. Now if you play it you can see that it has become stiff but it is slowing down too much. So come back to the soft body settings and click on this drop down arrow on cache to expand on it. Click here and reduce on this simulation end frame to 150. Come to the timeline and reduce this end frame to 150 as well. Now click here on bake to bake the simulation. Now if you play it, you can see that it looks fine so it's now time to crush it. So select this block and click on this icon to activate the auto keying button. Click on this Y to go to a side view then press G then Z then 0 to assign a keyframe there. Come to frame 100 then press G then Z and move it up to this point. Go to frame 150 then press G then Z and move it up up to this point. Now come down here and click on this icon then switch this to a graph editor. Come here and right click then go to interpolation mode and change it to linear. Click on this icon again then switch back to the timeline. Now if you play it, you can see it animating well. So come to the physics properties then click on collision to add a collision physics to it. Select this bottle then come back to the soft body settings then scroll down to cache and click on delete bake to delete the bake. Click on bake to bake the simulation again. Now if you play it, you can see it coming out well. But if you look closely, you can see that faces are entering into each other during the crush which is unreal. So to fix that, come back to the soft body settings then click here on delete bake to delete the bake. Scroll down to self collision then click on this box to activate it. Now scroll up to cache then click on bake to bake the simulation. Now if you play it, you can see the result coming out perfectly. And now we're done. You can now go ahead to work on your scene further in render. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.